So I just got down here, gross savant. We're gonna do a Strike King Riders Conference. So I'll probably be messing around here for the next couple of days. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing yet. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna make the video. I don't know if we're gonna uh, just do straight up fish catches cause it's gonna be freaking phenomenal or what we're gonna do. Got, uh, got Combs down here. That's his truck. There's Hackney. Um, <clears throat> they're all out here. We all just got out here. Uh, I got I got a couple hours just to kill on my own. So I'm just gonna go try to crush on some actually. Uh, look at this place. Like this place is just phenomenal looking man. Like water looks awesome. Should be pretty fun. Uh, I don't know. Let's go see what, what happens man. some fish out here. Over these flats. A little bad one on the swim jig. God, they are ready to spawn. Look at that. Look at them bellies on there. Isn't that crazy? Like they are ready. Alright, by a little stick. Dude, it's the middle. Get my power poles down. It is the middle, or it's the end of January. And dude, I'm catching them on a popping perch. Like, this is gonna be fun. I was wondering if they were gonna hit it. I had, I had a big one hit it earlier and miss it. Or she ate it. She didn't eat all of it. Like, it's just so cold and slow, but. It's about to get real, real fun for the next couple days. If they're about to do that, because that one actually hit it pretty hard. That's two bites. I don't think that was the same fish. That might get real fun. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's still a phenomenal lake. I think. I think everybody thinks when we say it's bad that we they think we're saying it's a crappy lake. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. You know, I really think that's what people think or something. You know, like never say it's crappy. It, even when it's bad, it's it's still good. But it's just like it's like it's off for whatever reason. It's off. Right now, there is no three pounders. It's just off. Four fours. Or fours. Three to five, you know, like three to five. Yeah, I don't think there's a bunch of fives either. Huh? I don't think there's a bunch of fives either. No, I don't either. I don't care how, like, if it's got three or four pounds, then there are people catching. Yeah, they don't just, like, go up. It hit the freaking water and it blew up on it. <laughs> Ain't a big one. And my buddy Jason will be around, and so I'll I'll go in his boat if something's going on. But yeah, man, we'll try to knock out, try to get a bunch of stuff, you know. Well, that'll be cool. Uh, I'll just plan on just. 
I'll, I'll, I'll have it back Monday. Okay. With you, or you can, or if you wanted to bring the boat Monday or something like that, or Monday or Tuesday or whenever, we'll 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 do some stuff. Okay. Here now, so. Sounds that sounds awesome. I'm ready. Okay. Cool. Cause I was I was telling you I was telling the guy literally about you today. Um, uh, I was telling him about like the stuff that you can do. You know, not like I didn't yeah. tell him exactly, but I mean I was like, hey man, like, like man, there's a lot, there's some, there's some opportunity there. I was telling him about you building that, those uh, you know, I didn't exactly yeah. explain it, but I was just like, man, he, I didn't realize. I'll be honest with you, I just didn't realize you could fabricate stuff like that. I sent it in uh, last night because I left today for for four days out of town. Gotcha. So, okay, I, yeah, I had no idea there was anything that you were already doing videos or anything like that. Yeah, I'm just give me a whole lot of but, uh, Yeah, like, so I already do a whole video. I already got in touch with them before all this. And, I mean, I knew this was going to happen or try to, yeah. but, yeah, so I do a whole fishing video, a whole everything with them. Uh, it goes through. So I, I, I need to know, too, who wins your farmer's deal every time. Gotcha. So, so I can put them, you know, on blast and be like, you know, talk about them and how much more money they want and stuff like that. Okay. okay. Alrighty, I'm gonna get all this put together. I'll shoot you a text here, uh, probably about an hour, with kind of the, our ideas, how we want to do it, and then uh, we can kind of just go from there. Okay. I let I'm shooting a riders conference down here in uh in Gros Savant, Louisiana with like a bunch of riders and stuff. So if I don't answer, like I can be talking in the evening times. I might be a little busy for the next couple of days though. But I mean okay. I'll have time in the evening. Here's the crazy part. So I mean, I'm out here and I'm getting to catch all these fish and I got you got to make work phone calls and phone calls about other stuff. <laughs> I, got, I wonder what people think about me when like I'm talking on the phone. I got my phone up there on the on the ground, man, and I and I'm like having a serious like business conversation, <laughs> and I'm catching fish at the same time. I wonder who else does that, or like if they even know like I just caught a three and a half pounder. Anyways, I always find that pretty funny. Man, it's so crazy. It's so cold, man. I think they're following it a long, long time. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't just figured it out. I mean, I'm getting bit on it. Sometimes they blow up on it. Like, as soon as I touch, you know, move it out there. And other times like that, like, God, I got to work it forever before one hits it. The problem is I know some of them around these trees, these little, but I think some are just out there. cruising around. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. Well, I don't know if this matters either. Like, it got pretty close to the boat. As soon as I touched that troll motor, she bit it. There's a bunch of pad sims right there. I'm wondering if there's a... if they're in it or not. I don't know if that's a high spot or what that is. I wonder if I can catch a really big one up on these flats. I know there's fish here. I just don't know if like maybe some of those big ones are piled up somewhere else. That's just one way to catch them. Cool. And they're just out here over there.
you think I, this is as good as it was last year? Oh, no, it's kind of tough. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I saw you catch three, and I'm like... That was one of our best deals. No, I was like, all right, man. Okay, because I hadn't been out here yet, and I'm like... Uh-uh. And we had one um, good flurry in another canal on a buzz bait. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Nice fish. But it just was like, really? man, we went to tons of good stuff, and it catch a lot. They're, they're definitely not, like... I just I just had one of my best little flurries just now, but I've had a lot miss it. I've had a lot, like, follows... On my first four, I missed on a frog, big ones, and they freaking, none, not one of them, some of them made it, but like, I could see my, it would be like a four or five pounder, I could see my frog swimming underneath the water, and I'd just be like, free lining it, letting, hoping it'd eat it. Well, I could see them ones coming in behind that buzz bait for a long time, they weren't in a real hurry, but they would come up and eat it. They'd come up and eat Well, then, then all of a sudden, like, I throw out there, and it hits the water one time, they just explode, like, I don't know. I I've seen some beds. Yeah, I saw a few beds, one fish. No fish, yeah. Uh, uh, what are you doing? I'm just looking. <laughs> you don't throw right. this much, do you? Huh? You don't throw this much, do you? See, you giant. I don't know if we're allowed to do that yet. No. What? Do what yet? Yeah. Is this striking bait? That's not a striking bait. Will be. Oh, will be? No, I was just in my eye. I hadn't seen it before. Oh, well, I know. I no one's seen it before. Yeah. Um. We'll, we'll talk to Crispin, and if you you just, I'm sure you got a good enough relationship where like, hey, don't don't say anything about it till we just they want to. Until, yeah. yeah, we're coming out with it this year. It's fun. But you catch any on them here? I, I well, I never threw it last year, and because I mean there was no reason to, you know, so I just stuck with it. So I was gonna try when y'all were. You know whatever but what, what do you want to do it's up to you i figured i've uh, just been going real fast trying to figure out where some are i caught like four right through here on a swim jig cool uh, yeah, he threw a swim jig a little bit and caught some but no we didn't do a video on it what we did it was just sitting there with a spinner bait and the thunder cricket for a trailer selection yeah but other than that is that like a prototype and you just rode on it? Or yeah. is that the way they all come? What's that? Oh, no, no, no. They, uh, Falcon just gives me a prototype. And you just, yeah, they just ride down with it. Yeah, but that thing was, that thing was awesome. So, that one was a Kara. They don't really make, they didn't make many of those. That's the worst thing in the world is when you're about to walk into a restaurant. Like, I gotta freaking put on, put my graphs inside the, truck raven you got to do it because they allow it to just try to take your waypoints <laughs> those idiots down there they got it working out and the bartender keeps you a little longer at yeah. the stump and they they're out there getting your waypoints i don't like a lot of, i don't it's something like i like but handle. i like these bigger reels yeah what is that one the bb something BB the one? bb one pro series i mean I don't know. I'm just a bigger guy. I, I don't know. I just don't like. That leak? Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's probably why I'm missing them. Oh, but yeah, I mean, at Florida, I was down there and I, I put it one out. It's one of my worst videos. We all loved it. Like Scott, me, home, like everyone was cracking up laughing. But I'm just going along. I see the loggerhead. I reach down there and grab it by the tail. This freaking giant log, and I freaking catch it. Oh, a turtle? Yeah. But a freaking big old snapping turtle. No one's ever caught a snapping turtle from the boat. Like you don't just like they never get that. Like, yeah, they always swim away. I got that one. I got a freaking giant uh, in November. I got a giant crane um, dive bombing my sexy dog. Uh, no, I had a mega dog. Like I'm out there just going along. And I didn't have hooks on it, so I could show it because we were practice fishing. But it still wrapped it around, so I got it in. Got it. I mean. Wow. I was like, because if it had had hooks, I probably wouldn't have shown it. I'd have been scared that, like, Peter. Yeah, or just, you know, people making comments. But I shared that. Like, I didn't fish on anyone because the grass is so good looking out on the main. Sorry to cut you off. <laughs> That's that, one? A, well, that one hit a little bit better than what they have been, but. Man, so I mean, we're just. 
what is it, January out here? I mean, and they're still just, they're eating it like that. But it's 58 degrees. I love catching them on a popping perch, like right before they get on beds. And half of them are females, half of them are males, but like, man, if you can figure it out, it's like, in my opinion, like one of the easiest ways to catch big ones. It's just, you're not gonna get a ton of bites, but sometimes when you get them, man, they're, they're big. And it's really hard to catch the fish right now. Uh, like, in my opinion, like, it's weird because, like, they're protective of their areas, you know, so they'll still eat it, but you got to get, like, the perfect day. But you find that perfect day, and it's just the easiest way to catch a giant bag. Do you do anything different when that water temp is up? low 50s and it's not quite what you would expect top water time to be do you work your bait any different or is it just no like so i i'm i'm probably the world's i fish a frog probably faster than anyone else so to me slowing down is slowing down like this i'll go as slow as possible um and i definitely try not to like move as much water i'll still if, if i right now like it's really hard because it's very hard to figure out where they're at like that one didn't exactly hit that one hit pretty, what, 15 foot away from where I thought it might. But if I know they're like right by a reed head or something like that, I'll, I'll stop it and just kind of do, you know, barely twitch it around some of those times and they'll come up and eat it. But right now, they're following it a lot. So I just keep going with it, just steady. It hadn't seemed to matter. If I start figuring them out later on, especially like, if I'm going down a bank and they're right on the bank, and that might be a little bit when it gets closer to the spawn, like when they're days away, I'll go a little bit slower right next to the bank. But right now, they're just kind of out here roaming around on some of the shallow stuff. But, I mean, look at that, like that's not even by anything, you know, same, same deal same deal it's just they're just kind of roaming around still it, it's not it's not actually normal to be honest with you but I mean it is kind of the pattern you can see how it works all through there you can basically just kind of throw out here and she, you know she didn't even blow up on like I didn't even know I had one to be honest with you but they're biting me so I told you, like, I'm, I can call these out. <laughs> I mean, you see that that one didn't even eat very, like, they're just barely coming up there. I wouldn't mind making 40 grand without really having to scope, like, because he was talking about the tour, and I'm like, yeah, I, I just don't want to go down in history as the guy who spent the most money ever to fish a tournament. Yeah. So. What is that? Which one? Expert? Oh, yeah. that's what I was wondering what that's Yeah. Um, cool. And if this thing dies, because it's, you know, if our video is going longer than, or something, and it dies, that's my bad. But we'll pick up where we, and I'll splice it and do my magic stuff. Whatever. Talk to us on here. Uh, I want to talk to y'all a little bit about lose reels and what I actually like to throw. Um, I'm probably a little bit different than most, I think. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty decent sized guy. I'm 6'3", I got big hands. So as I've kind of started fishing, man, I, I just gravitate towards those bigger reels. You had just gotten done with I remember end, when I stopped, but I don't remember when it stopped. Yeah. Because you let me go for a little bit longer. Like, you were talking about not all my stuff's top end. It's yeah, what right. feels right. Yeah. Um, I don't know if Luz wants me to say that, but I think it yeah. is. I think no, it's I think, authentic, think, so I don't yeah, care. Yeah. It's not like, oh, these are steezes. They're $1,000. Yeah. I don't wanna, yeah I don't wanna sit there. Yeah. yeah. These are 99 and they work great or yeah. 190 like, Oh, you're sponsored by them. No wonder you yeah. use the high end Um. I'll just get, you just talk. So I, I still use the lower end reels uh, price range wise. I mean, they're still phenomenal reels. I, I like a little something smaller uh, when I'm throwing like, you know, an underspin 
or a thunder cricket or like uh, you see me a lot if y'all keep up i throw a rage swimmer a ton every time i go smallmouth fishing and i actually like these kind of 60 a day i mean that's minimum four of us for like two two and a, two and a half three days doing all kind of different things too so i mean someone came through here earlier is that the swim jig no. huh oh you're throwing that deal oh yeah nice the hooks were different on that sucker what do you mean there's some different and they're all gonna probably be big ones too by the way that's what i like about it <laughs> that's what eats this thing big big one big old fat ones <laughs> Too big. <laughs> that big old cow, look at that. You see that? Like how fat that one is? Can you see on that side? Look, look that side's even fatter. You see that? Mm -hmm. Don't throw it back. Let me get a photo. That's, it looks super cool with the sunset right there. Yeah, I've been I've been throwing a lot of things in my two biggest ones in about five minutes. Yeah. Here. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. One sec. Go that way. There you go. For, for y'all, if y'all didn't know, it takes Ronnie Moore five minutes to take a picture of this, which takes me about two seconds. <laughs> the ones, huh? Were you on a win? Wow. Come back and got it. Off the surface. Yeah, well, I mean, that's because it's, it's with this thing. That's how, I'm like, look what kind of grass I'm throwing it over. People don't, people don't get that. Like, what you can do with this bait. I'm rolling. Oh, that's all right. Uh, you got some. I don't even know how I got them hooked. Look at that. Did you see that? That was pretty cool. Like, I saw him, but, like, he was hung on that grass, but he was doing this on the opposite side, and he just finally, like, let go. Like, I couldn't feel him anymore, but he was still hooked. Wow. Did you see what I, I was, saw like, him underneath he the was, grass, he was, and, yeah. The line was through the grass, and he got enough slack. This is why you lose him. He got enough slack, and he just kept on doing this. And he was having, and he was shaking his head. I couldn't feel him. I was just pulling the grass wow. mat, and all of a sudden, he just goes and gets off. Like, it's pretty cool to see why you lose fish like that. Oh, yeah. 100%. But, you know, I don't care. Man. This is just fun. This is why this bait's so good and cannot be. You just keep rod tip up. Well, I mean, this is obviously on shallow the, yeah. grass, yeah. So on the shallow grass, and like, oh my gosh, double. Yeah. They just here. You got to get up here on. Yeah. I got it rolling too. <laughs> now I'll try laying mine just because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have a little fun this week. Because mine definitely smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's all bowed up. He's so cold. Yeah, He's so yeah. cold. He won't unbend. That's pretty cool. Yeah. When you cool. when I was watching your line and it, I saw you hook up and uh -huh. then I looked and my line jumped and it was like a foot of slack and I had to just reel into it. <laughs> I was like, goodness, doubled. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, look, look at this. Around. Look, look at that big old squirrel. Dang it! It followed up the same deal. That, uh, that they probably. Hopefully, I brought them. Hello? Hey. Hey. How much longer y'all gonna be? Oh, man, we just. <laughs> it might be a little bit, like 20 minutes. Oh, um, yeah. Why, well, what's just, up? We're, we're taking out, and I, uh, I just I needed y'all to take some pictures of us. Oh, okay. Hey, we're right here. We'll come get you. Uh, where are you? Well, we're, we're I, uh, if you look straight down the ramp, down at the far end, you can't see us yet, but that's where we're at. So, like, okay. I mean, if you don't mind. Do no, that. no, absolutely not. He's, Ronnie's just over here catching all the fish. <laughs> well, that's what Ronnie does. That's what he does. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll, we'll give us like two minutes. We'll be there. All right. Thank All right. You. These are little chublins, as he'd say. Uh, he's like, little, ch little chublins. Well, that's what Ronnie does. That's what Ronnie does. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's look, look at old Hackney up there. Look at him on the bank. Just slanking around. Do you have He said yes. Did you say you know him about that? <laughs> <laughs> You know I'm about that. You know I'm about that.